Hey everybody, it's Captain CA, and I want to welcome you to the Mirror Lure Pro Tips. This one's all about suspending baits. And you're going to learn how to throw everything from Miradines to Miraminos to Paul Browns to Catch 2000s, you name it. So as I get my boat ready, I want to invite you to join me today to catch a few fish. Come on. <laughs> So, welcome to Mirror Lure Tips Part 2. This is about the suspending bait lineup. Now today, we're going to talk a lot about my favorite one, which is the Miradine. We're also going to cover the Catch 2000, the Paul Brown Lure, maybe even the Mirror Minnow. As we get into it, I want you to stay with me. I'm going to show you some tips, tricks, rod actions, leader links, everything you need to know about throwing suspending baits for Mirror Lure. So let's drill down into the Miradine lineup. This is the MR-17, which is the most popular size, and it catches everything. I mean, when I say everything, it catches everything. Big ones, small ones, numbers. It's, it's my favorite size uh, to get action on. But let me explain the tempo that you can work it, uh, the seasonality uh, that this bait is the most effective, uh, a little bit about leader length and weight, and some of the rod actions that are going to be best suited for this particular lure. So let's start off first with the seasonality. Seasonality for a Miradine. It is, it is basically, uh, in Florida especially, a 12 month a year bait. You can use it all year long, especially the warmer months. But my favorite period is in the spring, just before the bait shows up, or later in the year, in late fall, when we have pockets of bait but it's not everywhere you don't have to catch bait because you have literally a live bait right here so this lure is going to be fantastic for targeting snook speckled trout redfish small tarpon flounder you'd be surprised flounder bouncing this in potholes works very good for flounder it is a universal bait that just absolutely catches everything season to season i promise you now let's talk about the leader the length and the weight Naturally, if you use too heavy a leader, it diminishes this particular MR-17's uh, action. So you, if you step the leader weight up, you might need to go to a Miradine XL or XXL. If you step it down quite a bit, you could even go down to the Minidine. But the one that works the best for this particular size, the MR-17, the most popular size, is probably going to be anything from 15 to 20 pound leader weight. That's my favorite. You can go as high as 25, but once you start getting a little higher than that, it starts to dampen the action of the lure itself. So 15 to 25 pound test, it's perfect. Write that down. Now the length of the leader is important too. The lighter your leader, the longer it can be. The heavier your leader, the shorter it needs to be because it diminishes the action of the bait. In most cases, I'm comfortable with 24 to 30 inches of leader, whether it be mono or, or fluorocarbon. I use mono a lot because it's a little bit more neutrally buoyant. So you might want to think about using mono a lot more, especially because this is a true reaction bait. Now let's move on to the action of the rod that works best with this bait. You want a rod that is about 70% backbone and about 30% tip reason you want that is you want to be able to have enough moderate flex in the rod tip to create some deflection so that the bait has time to shake and wiggle and fall a little bit. Shake, wiggle, and fall. If the rod's too stiff, it just pulls it through the water and sort of dampens the action of the bait. So a softer rod is perfect for it. But you still need enough backbone to be able to stick a fish with these black nickel hooks because this is the Pro Series, so it's a little bit beefier hook on it. So I suggest a seven foot medium action, medium fast flex rod. That's the perfect action for the MR-17. Now Falcon makes plenty of these rods, both spinning and casting in their Clearwater Coastal Series. So look that Clearwater Coastal Series up and you'll find the right, the right action rod for the Miradine. Now let's transition into the cast and the retrieve. 
With a seven foot rod, you should be able to accomplish a good 80 to 100 foot cast with that type of rod and this light of bait. The sweet spot in this rod is basically anywhere from a quarter to three eighths in a medium action rod. And that's what these lures weigh. So we're gonna make a cast and then there's two or three, maybe even four different ways you can really work this bait to be very effective. But we're gonna try the natural way first. So my first retrieve is gonna be very static where we just reel it, give it a kick, reel it, because this bait swims with a nice shimmy when you straight swim it. Reel it a little bit, give it a kick. This is a really natural retrieve and it's the one that works the best for me when I don't see a lot of activity in the water. Now retrieve number two. This is when you see a lot of activity in the water, lots of bait fish. You gotta bring attention to your bait. So you have to give it that erratic, that erratic type movement. Now it's gonna be a more caffeinated cadence. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Reel, twitch, twitch, twitch. Reel, twitch, twitch, twitch. Reel, and what you're trying to do is hard flash that bait. Throw lots of flash, lots of vibration, and give it lots of movement so that in all the bait that is, that is swimming around, this one looks like something's wrong with it and it gets eaten. So in review, the first retrieve, the natural retrieve, where it's more of a swim and then a flash and then a little bit of a swim and then a single flash, that's the retrieve you wanna use when there's not a lot of bait fish in the water. The second retrieve with the Miradine you want to use that retrieve when there's a lot of bait fish. It's very erratic. It's flash, 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 short swim, flash, 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 short swim. That's what gets the attention of fish when there's lots of bait fish in the water. Now the third retrieve is really a retrieve that you have to use when the water is extremely cold. So it's slow. So we're going to use that retrieve as our third option. And right now I'm wearing a hoodie, so it's cold. So this is the best retrieve for this time of year. So it's twitch and pause. Wait a little bit, twitch, take a little slack out, pause. Twitch, pause. Twitch, pause a little bit and then reel some slack out. Twitch, you're almost just flashing it and letting it fall. Flashing it and let it shimmy back down. You're trying to work the bait very slow, cover very little water. Give it as much action as you dare in a short distance. That super slow retrieve is what you have to do in cooler water temps. So in close, I shared with you the best time of year to use these baits, which is gonna be early spring and late fall, but it's a 12 month a year bait, the Miradine. Two, we, shared, we talked a little bit, or I shared with you a little bit, about the leader length and the leader weights that work best for the rod. Also, the best rod action to cast these particular baits and work them. In my opinion, there's a lot of these different baits and, and colors in the Miradine lineup, but the one that works the best is the MR17, which is the original Miradine. The Miradine XL performs excellent and culls a lot of smaller fish out. So for me, that is a great choice, and I use that on a little heavier action rod than the medium action rod. And then lastly, there's the Mini Dean. Now, the Mini Dean is smaller than the original Mirror Dean and is excellent on a medium light action rod and 15 pound leader, especially a little shorter piece of leader. But on that very slow retrieve that you have to make during cold temperatures, which was the third retrieve, it's an excellent choice. I hope these little tips with the Mirror Deans help put more fish in your boat. All right. The next lure we're going to talk about in the suspending category is the Catch 2000. Now this is the Pro Series and I picked the speckled trout color. When I'm targeting big speckled trout in the winter and moving through the spring when the spawn first starts, this is a killer, killer bait. It's a subwalk bait that does a lot of damage. One of my all-time faves and something I think you're gonna have a lot of success with. Now, when I'm looking at leader length for this particular bait, again, it's 24 
to 30 inches of mono or fluorocarbon. Sometimes mono works a little bit better with this one because I'm working it pretty shallow. The action rod that you wanna use for this particular bait, again, is going to be a medium action rod, a medium, medium fast. That's what you want for this bait. Now with all of these baits, I like to have a loop knot. You'll notice that in the Miradine and in the Catch 2000 and in all the suspending categories, we're always gonna use a loop knot. This one's called the mirror lure knot, and you can find it online. Now, let me show you the retrieves that I like the best with this particular bait. There's one that you're going to use 80% of the time, and it's a slow walk the dog underneath the surface. So this is, this bait's worked a lot like a top water, where it's twitch, 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 and you're barely taking up slack. You're almost walking the dog underneath the surface. So if you watched the, the first Mirror Lure Pro tips on top waters, you'll know exactly how to work this bait because it's twitch, real little slack, twitch, real, barely a little slack. You're trying to create slack. So the bait is going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That slow twitching sub walk drives trout crazy. You keep it in the zone for a long time. This bait casts like a bullet too. So it gives you a lot of extended um, distance that you wouldn't get with the Miradine series because it's so aerodynamic. And it's a nice longer shape that really eliminates a lot of small trout. This one does a fantastic job of attracting big, big trout. If you're throwing this, you're targeting big trout or snook most of the time. Now, there are periods of time when I'm fishing creeks that I like to use this bait for snook. And it comes in a, in a wide array of colors. So you're gonna see this in mullet colors, uh, small juvenile redfish colors, the speckled trout color. And there's a number of custom baits that are coming where that you can order yourself. But you just gotta remember, you've got to subwalk the bait underneath the surface. That's the number one way you work this bait. Now, let me show you a little bit how my hands are working so that you can work this bait properly. So if you'll notice how my hands are working, it's just like walking the dog when I'm throwing slack back. You just got to give it about a two or three second count to get under the surface. And then you're basically, it's just walking the dog about six inches underneath the surface. And if you can, you can get some long casts down a shallow flat in March and April, you are gonna absolutely connect with big speckled trout. I promise you. It's a fantastic bait, fantastic. And casting distance is crazy good with this bait much better than the Miradine. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to extend your cast from 80 to 100 feet to maybe 100 to 125 feet with this bait. It really gets out there. So if distance matters, pick up the Catch 2000. So let me summarize for you. The Catch 2000, just like we were talking about, is best worked in a walk the dog fashion in under the surface. So how you accomplish that is your long cast, you give it a two or three count, let it get below the surface, and then twitch reel, twitch reel. And that back and forth motion drives fish nuts. It's a long cast bait, it's a big fish bait, and it comes in two sizes. There's the Catch Junior and the Catch 2000 size. And it comes in a wide array of colors. So even custom colors if you'd like them. So if you're looking for the bait that's gonna catch a big fish, I mean a big speckled trout or a big snook, the Catch 2000 is likely what you're looking for. Now the next bait in the category, let's talk about the Paul Brown. There's a couple of different profiles in the Paul Brown lineup itself, but it's another suspending type bait and it's ideal for catching big speckled trout and redfish. Now I chose for the demo for this pro tip to use the Fat Boy because it's my favorite profile, but they have the original and the little devil. They have a Softine and a Softine XL. But all these baits, what makes them unique is they're very balanced with light wire hooks. They're very neutral suspending baits. They work extremely shallow for you. You can bend the frame and make them do about anything you want, but still, the best retrieve is that of the Catch 2000. It's that sub walk, that walk, walk, 
walk motion that gets the best results. And the big eye and the, the homemade look, organic look of this bait, believe it or not, is very appealing to big gator trout in the spring spawn. This particular bait has taken probably more trout tournaments in Texas than any other bait in the history of their tournament series. So think about that. But it's long casting. You're gonna require more of a medium heavy action rod, but with a moderate tip. We have an excellent one here at Falcon at the Falcon Coastal Clearwater. This is the seven foot four medium heavy action with medium flex. That means it has just enough tip to give you that pulse of the bait without pulling it straight through the water. It gives it a little bit of slack. So you have to step up the rod action to cast the Paul Brown. It's a long cast bait, so that makes it deadly, especially when you're stalking spooky trout. Now, the line weight that I use for the leader typically is anywhere, again, from 24 to 30 inches long, and I like 20 pound the most, but you can go down to 15 or you can go up to 25 pound leader. Now, when I'm throwing casting gear, I throw straight 14 or 16 pound monofilament line and tie it directly to the Paul Brown lure. Let's move on to the cast. Let's cast and show you the cadence on the retrieve. Again, it's going to be a twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, pause. It's very slow sinking, twitch, pause. You wanna give the bait time to make a long, slow glide and stall, and then make a long, slow glide the other direction and stall. So it's real a little, twitch wait don't reel just wait reel a little twitch wait that long pause gives that bait time to slide you want it to slide six eight inches so it's a big wide walk that's that's what draws a strike with the paul brown lure and for some reason big speckled trout prefer this lure over all others for what reason who knows, but who cares? It works. So what you really need to know, honestly, about the Paul Brown lure is it's a subwalk bait, a lot like the Catch 2000. You've got to allow enough time and work it very slow. So you give it time to glide. It glides farther than the Catch 2000. The walk of the Catch 2000 is a tighter walk. The walk, the subwalk of the Paul Brown lure is a long, wide glide. The baits are designed to glide a long way. Now the Fat Boy has a shimmy similar to the Miradine, like an oversized Miradine, and that's what makes it so appealing to trout. It's like throwing a pork chop out there, but slow. You gotta focus on slow subwalking that bait and you'll get great results. So the last suspending bait I wanna talk about is the Miro Minnow. This is the MR19. Again, this behaves a little like the MR17 Miradine, but it's a longer body. And those longer bodies walk better. And what I like about this one in particular is it casts very well and it lands softly and I can work it very close to the top. So it's perfect for working over a cover like real shallow grass flats or even oyster bars. The seasonality of this bait though is all year long, but when the glass minnows are running, this bait is deadly. Let's start off with leader length for the MR19 Miro Minnow. It varies depending on the scenario. Most cases, it's gonna be about 24 inches, but there are times when I'm using only 18 inches of leader for this particular bait. I don't wanna weigh the nose down too much. And when the fish are extremely spooky on a bright blue clear day, I might have to go to as much as 30 inches and work it a little faster. So 18 to 30 inches, anywhere in that range is going to work, just depends on ambient conditions. Now the rod action that you're gonna to need to use is gonna be medium light. This is a very light lure and you're gonna to have to get a long cast and you need to give it a lot of action if you have to work it fast over shallow stuff. So a medium light seven foot rod is going to be ideal. That's what you're gonna to wanna to use. Let me show you about the cadence that you can work this bait because you can work it two different ways. You can work it quickly, more erratic, like we did the Miradine, or you can work it very slow and natural. So let's look at the first retrieve, the, the more natural retrieve. I like to reel the bait slowly and get it up close to the surface and then twitch it, one little kick. Reel it, get it close to the surface, not breaking the surface, just get it close to the top and then twitch. 
what you're trying to do is you're trying to give that little swimming motion and then just give it a flash. That's all you're looking to do. When there's not a lot of bait around, a lot like the Miradine Retrieve, Natural Retrieve, that's what you're trying to accomplish. Just a little swim, soft flash. That will not spook fish and that will allow you to get over the potholes and around oyster bars and catch fish. Now, if there's lots of bait around, you're fishing a big mullet school, for instance, and you need to bring attention to the bait, that's the second retrieve. That's the more wounded or erratic retrieve, where when you make your cast and you get in there where the bait is, then it's twitch, 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 three hard twitches, flash, 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 and then pause for a second, twitch, twitch, twitch. Hold up a second, let it fall. Usually during that pause is when the strike happens. So three hard flashes, stop. Three hard flashes, stop. You always use that when there's lots of bait available and you're trying to bring attention to your bait. So that is retrieve number two, the erratic wounded, let's get their attention retrieve. So the MR19, the Miro Minnow, it is a fantastic bait and it comes in two sizes. There's the MR19 and then there's the Mira glass, which is a little bit smaller. And sometimes when you have fry in the water, that's a better choice. It casts just as well and you can work it in the same fashion that I described the way the MR19 works. So if you're looking for a great springtime bait that you're throwing to spooky fish, over cover, shallow grass, shallow oyster. It's pretty tough to beat the MR19 and those two retrieves, both the natural retrieve where it's a sweet swim and then a little soft flash, or if you have to, go to the erratic retrieve when there's lots of bait around where it's three hard flashes, a short pause, take the slack up, repeat until the results get you what you need which is more fish in your boat. So this is the end of the Mirror Lore Pro Tip Series number two, Suspending Baits. We covered the Miradine, the Catch 2000, the Paul Brown Lure, and the Mirror Minnow. You learned a lot today, and I hope you'll be able to take these techniques and strategies and put them in the use to put more fish in your boat.